So fixed factor, random factor, and block. Uh, think about that we want to test the effectiveness of a new uh, fertilizer and then we got by say we have this new fertilizer and we want to test against a control or currently used fertilizer and see how that works with respect to the new currently used fertilizer so then if we only test these two levels of the fertilizer then this thing is called a fixed factor now a random factor think about this i have an option to choose um, run this experiment in 40 different states in the united states and then i randomly pick uh, only say three states from these 40. So then I have these uh, state variables and then that has uh, three levels. So I don't know which three are selected, but we can say state one, two, and three. So then uh, this factor states will be considered as random factor. And then generally the random factor is not our interest so we are our interest i designed this new fertilizer and i want to say that wherever you use this fertilizer is going to be effective regardless of the area used so uh, i want to make kind of intentionally this random factor insignificant so then it would be uh, regardless of states this fertilizer works so so then um, for, for example this response um, Sorry, just so the response um, response variable y maybe the yield of the amount of uh, crops uh, that we grow here. So then um, this random variable also sometimes called block. Uh, um, this all this term also came from agriculture field. Um, the block is um, you typically if you have a piece of land then you divide that into few blocks and then um, apply different types of or you can plant different types of crops in each of these block in this case we have test three blocks or three states randomly picked so this block variable is also kind of like a random variable which is not our primary interest however um, so there is really not a difference in a lot of cases the random factor and a block factor so sometimes it's called um, block experiments or random experiments you can think of like that now if we for example if we have only three states we can run this experiment so only two states say wisconsin or iowa and then you only talk about then the wisconsin and iowa and then this uh, conclusion would be generalized over the entire United States. Now, in that case, if you only test on two fixed states, then it's become a fixed factor. Now, that's not really our interest. You know, we're testing this new fertilizer, then I wouldn't probably include that variable at all. Just, you know, I would, I would not have any random or block variable in this case. So it depends on the experiments, you know the what you want to do what you want to test should you include the random factor in it or block factor um, so it depends how the how the levels are chosen for example in this case if we choose this level at random then it become a random factor or block factor something like that if they are fixed then they become fixed factor so generally fixed factor is our interest random factor is just to widen our conclusion for um, a wide range of things